Hey everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Stairs, and welcome to Inscription. Now, I've seen a couple of people play a little bit of this. I have absolutely no clue beyond a certain point. Um, so if I don't seem as shocked by a few things, it's it's no big deal. But I wanted I wanted to try to stay more blind to it, but I I just love watching people play this game. So much so that it's inspired me to want to play this game myself, especially because I was a huge fan of Pony Island. So we're going to get into this. And some things happened initially on startup. I haven't delved into the game, um, but I did have to like do some minor edits uh, just to make sure that this functionally ran on my computer. And also make sure it's popping up on the right monitor so I can look more at you guys and the game all at the same time. So fingers crossed. I wonder if he'll say it again, though. If not, I'll have to... Okay! Time to figure out what's on this thing. They were streamer-friendly. Thank God for them. <laughs> but I still... I'm very curious about the man whose voice that is. Also, I'm thoroughly loving this, and you can totally tell that this was the Pony Island developers because they definitely reused some of the same sound effects. Okay, so we... Oh, they reused some of the same visual effects, too, from Pony Island. When you would, like, attack the glitches, this would happen, and that same sound would play. Okay, so we don't have that as options. I've already played with all of the settings I need to. So, I guess we just continue. But what are we continuing on? Okay. I I do like this little save icon. I don't like this already. Okay, yeah, this is way creepier when you do this alone and by yourself. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Oh yeah, this is way more terrifying when you see this. In per oh. Okay, this yeah. I just I've I've watched like I think two people play this entirely, and like like not all the way through, but I just watched like two people play this, and I was like, oh, this is like interesting. This is so much more horrifying when it's only your screen. Oh my god! Okay, uh, play the squirrel card. Uh, sure, dude. Now play your stoats. Okay, so S and W. Okay. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack, okay. And then this is its health, I would imagine. God, the sound design in this thing's great. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. There's coyote, but I like how that rhymed, so I'm just keeping that. My coyote dealt your stoat two damage. I worded that weird, but whatever. That means your stoat's health is less than two. Why did that... Why... Is he just grumpy? If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. I'm gonna pick a squirrel. How dull. I'm just gonna hit my turn on that. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. I'm gonna pick the squirrel again. And then this time, I can summon a wolf. Because I see no point in sacrificing the stoat. I just don't. Four, 
four damage dealt, four ways on the scale. You won this match. They all won't be so easy. Okay, so there is a little bit that I do know. And I do know uh, that some of these cards are sentient, and I know that the stoat is one of them. So the number one thing I've been really curious about is what happens if you do this without ever having sacrificed the stoat. So that's what we're going to try to do. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Yeah, that single guitar string just doesn't set me on edge entirely. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The adder. Damage from its poison is always lethal. And the cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. I'm taking the cat. Also reminds me of my cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Alright. Some creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. Okay. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a bottle, a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Okay. Three is as much as you can carry. Good to know. Okay. You were ambushed while coming across some rough terrain. <laughs> you didn't sacrifice me? How kind. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. Okay. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Okay, so we're gonna have a wolf up ahead. So I'm gonna take that, and then I'm gonna place down the cat that doesn't die. And I'll put this in front of the stump. Here we go. And do I take a- okay, I can't draw my first turn. Cool. The mind of the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Alright, we're gonna take this. Um, so we're gonna put this down. And we're just gonna put that there. And that'll be the end of my turn. Because I should have enough to continue to do something. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Great, <laughs> thanks. Ha! My bat flew right over your river snapper. I'm gonna take this card. I'm gonna wait, because then I'm gonna use this wolf to attack that wolf later. So... There we go. Well, I'm glad I'm on the stoat's good graces right now. I got another wolf. Not that I'm gonna need it. Hey, I hit extra! Oh god, I've almost peaked my mic. Sorry, guys. And you prevailed and trekked onward past the now bloodied terrain. I'm glad. Sort of. What do we got? Wolf cub? Sparrow. Um, uh, I'm gonna take the wolf cub because he turns into something greater later. And I like that enhancement. You stumbled on some strange creature in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice that'll be lost forever. Okay. I guess this one? And then... Pick you. You look upon the menagerie and select a healthy host. I wonder what happens if you combine that with the cat. Does the un undying cat turn into anything? But I also want to see what happens what the stoat would turn into. <laughs> what an honor. Cool. A ghastly spectacle. 
But the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. Cool. I wonder what that means for us, though. Cool. They all can fly now? Oh, no. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. So it's only the, the dog-based ones. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Okay. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Yeah, so that's why I'm tempted to never see him sacrifice. Is I know only that. Okay. So what's gonna happen? Okay, so he's not gonna get attacked directly. So what I'm gonna do for this case is I'm gonna just play the stoat back on the board. Because they're gonna jump over me, but my totem has granted my coyote the power of flight! Great! Oh god, I'm almost losing. Oh! Okay, so it just increases attack in his health then. Um, okay, so I got the undying cat that I wanted. Cool. Am I supposed to win that? You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay, yeah, right. Fetch me my candlestick from atop the barren the barrel beside the door. Okay. Um how? Oh, oh, I really can just turn I don't like that that's nothing. What what are you? Okay. Got a clock. Then I can turn. There is Seemingly nothing inside this photograph? One, two, three. That, that seems like that's sending me some kind of a Morse code. Okay. Interesting sound design on that. What are you? Okay. Do I have to cut the ropes? It looks like something's missing from here, but I don't know what. I have no key. I don't know. <sighs> please get away from me. Please don't. Please don't look that close to me. Oh, so he's got a sturdier base. So it looks like he might go in with that squirrel. But how do I get him out? Okay. Well, I guess I'll just bring it here. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not... I'm just gonna... Do I have to? Okay. Uh, there we go. Now, sit back down. Sure thing, dude. You got it. Hate... I hate being close to you. I absolutely hate being close to you. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh. Well, I'm glad to let me just pass on through. Okay, I have card options. Adder. The flighty elk moves after attacking and the wolf. So based on the mushroom, I imagine I already have one. What is going on with the flashing down here? Is that accidental? Is that... Because you get a lot of accidents with reflective materials. I'm going to go with the adder. Because then I can at least poison somebody. Okay, so that's sacrifice. So what's this then? You come across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddle around a campfire. They look upon your group of creatures and beckon. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. 
Warm it by the fire and that will enhance its power, said another. Okay, I'm loving giving this guy a voice too much. I think I have to do the voices for only villains from now on. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Great, this is all terrifying to me. Okay. You do not seem sure about this. Well, the only one that doesn't have any attack power right now is the cat. And since I want to do everything in my power to have the cat out, because you don't seem sure about this, and not to mention you'll get more power after this. What if I put it by... What if I... Okay, don't take my cat. Because maybe if they try to eat the cat, then, like, it won't work because he's undying. Okay, he's got at least one attack power now. The warmed poor cat. Enhancing its power. One of the survivors reaches towards it. Another gnashed their teeth without a word. You pulled the cat away from the fire and left. Yeah, I too would take my cat away from this fire. Okay, now what? Okay, so we have grand fur. I already have my cat in hand. Thank God. Okay, so let's put this here. Sacrifice for the cat. And there's a grizzly bear ahead. Oh wow, I can just turn to look any which way, huh? Okay, so I've got nothing else that I can play on this. Ow! Alright, I guess I've got no choice, but I'm gonna have to play the wolf. And then maybe after this I'll play the adder. Oh. Alright, give me give me another squirrel. This this two cost thing is just really unfortunate. Oh my god! A serpent, perhaps more deadly than man. No kidding! Are you saying that this is always gonna be a one hit kill? Why was I wasting my time with the wolf? I, da, 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 da. <laughs> There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> so, does this man hear him speaking every time? Or does he just hear that he's speaking? I'll play him, I guess. This spot? You sure? I Yeah, I'm sure for now. You're gonna evolve in the next turn. Yeah. See? No harm, no foul. Yeah, see? I overkilled. You're fine. Okay, so we have... I think what's gonna be better is to try... Because that would be more items, but I'm max on items. So what feels wise to me is going to... Going to increase the, the, the power of one of my creatures. However... As I look at the time, we're out of time for this episode. So thanks everyone so much for watching. I'm having so much fun with this. I actually wasn't fully expecting playing it to be more fun than watching some people play it. And now I really get to test out some of my theories that I may have with this, like never sacrificing the stoat and just seeing what happens because I really wanna know. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm uploading another episode of Inscription. Because I'm totally going to record more of this. At, at least for my own sake. So take care everyone.